We're still out here at the Coconut 06 Ranch, just finding lots of interesting little rocks. I picked up this piece of what I believe is jasper, but look at the look at the pattern on there. Isn't that cool? It's a little rougher on this side, but that top looks very nice. So let's find out how well will this thing tumble and polish. What I'll do is I'll get it back to the shop and I'll get it rolling in a barrel in the coarse grit. And I'll keep it rolling until it's nice and smooth. Hopefully we won't lose all that beautiful pattern in there. And once it's nice and smooth, I'll take it back inside to the good studio and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, check it out. After many, many weeks in the coarse grit, our West Texas rock, which I thought was Jasper, is finally finished with the coarse stage. And now it looks like it's probably just that old rhyolite. You see those crystals forming in there? However, the top part still looks interesting. Notice how much denser the rock is up here than down there. That's interesting, right? I think this might take a really good polish up on this side where the banding is. Some of that pattern right there. Don't know about this softer side. We're going to find out. What I'm going to do next is get this thing in the vibratory tumbler. I'm going to go for 10 days. I'll use four different grids. And once I'm finished with that final polishing stage, I'll bring it back in here and show you what it looks like. Finally, after many, many weeks of tumbling and polishing our little Coconut 06 chunk of maybe Jasper, maybe Rhyolite, maybe Basalt, is finally finished with the polishing. And it did take a nice polish in certain areas. The top part, which was that smooth part, as you can see, did take a really nice shine. And I like the pattern in there. You can just see the little banding and then this area in here, the, I don't know what you'd call that. Looks like a bunch of red islands in a dark sea right off the coast of some reddish continent. But then as we go south on our globe, you see we get into this, well, rhyolite maybe? I'm no geologist. You can see crystals formed in it. Does that make it intrusive or extrusive? I do know that's the difference between basalt and rhyolite. Well, I don't know exactly, but you can tell it's sort of a combo rock. You got the best of both worlds, I suppose. I really do like the way the top turned out. I think that's very attractive. And look, there is chalcedony in there, so it is agate, at least based on my definition, which really just means it has chalcedony in it. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's just a so-so rock. If this were all we had to look at, I wouldn't be too impressed. This makes it well, half decent, right? Hope you agree. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please check my playlist because I've got lots more of these videos showing individual rocks getting tumbled. Once again, thanks for watching.